Welcome. In this video, I wanted to show you methods of uh, how to produce uh, black and white images. I'm going to divide this into two sections. Um, the first section is going to be using Photoshop, and I'm going to show you nine, um, nine tools or nine ways of doing uh, converting your images uh, into black and white in Photoshop. The second half of the video, I'm going to show you without Photoshop um, this, uh, on how to convert images into black and white in a Mac and on a PC. There are built-in apps that you can use to do that. So let's get started. Uh, the first, uh, like I said, it's going to be on Photoshop. Each method, I'm, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go through them quickly. I'm not going to explain them too much. Can I suggest that you play around with each method and you know, get used to them and use the one that best suits your needs? Okay, so the first method is going to be um, a desaturation so it's going to be image adjustment and click on desatch and that's it it just turns it into black and white removes the color there's no there's not much fine tuning with it available you can just use the adjustments layers to um, to fix the image up to you know to suit your needs so the next method i'm going to undo this uh, is going to be the grayscale method so you're going to go image click on image mode and grayscale in my case i have this pop-up i'm going to click on discard and that's it again there's no fine tuning uh, sliders available you can use the adjustment layers to um to adjust uh, to your to your needs so i'm going to undo that as well the next method is the black and white filter the built-in filter in photoshop and here it is here uh, you click on that and there it pops up um, uh, with these properties um, you can use the sliders this one actually gives you you know more fine tuning options with these sliders and you can play around with these to adjust the image to your needs so i'm just gonna close that and delete this so the next option is the photo filter which is uh this one here this icon here on the adjustments uh, panel so you click on that now to do this is you choose color you choose the black color click OK and then you put the density up to 100 and that gives you a black and white and again um, there's not really much in terms of fine-tuning you can use the adjustment layers to uh, adjust the image so let me close that as well Our next method is the uh, the channel mixer, which is this little icon here in the adjustment layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that, and then under presets we're going to choose these black and white presets. So they've given you a couple of a few presets. You can choose one, and then use the sliders to adjust the image or fine tune the image. Okay, so that's that's method number five. Next method number six. Let me just get rid of these. Is the hue saturation uh, filter? You click on that, and the way to do this one is actually just remove the red, the saturation. Sorry, I should say not the red, the saturation, and it turns it into a black and white image. Next, uh, let me get rid of this again. Method seven is the color lookup, which is this icon here in the adjustment layer. You click on that. And what you do is you choose, you click on sub, uh, abstract, sorry. Now this always pops up for me. Uh, I don't know if it does it for you. Just click on cancel. And then you click on load. Now what I found was that when I choose gray tone, it creates this beautiful black and white, soft black and white image. And I've, I really found it, I liked it a lot. And again, there's not much in terms of um, um, fine tuning. You can use anything from the adjustment layers to, to adjust the image. Method number eight, uh, let me do this. Is using the, uh, the gradient map, which is this icon here in the um, adjustment panel. You click on that and you can use the reverse or detail, they call it. Um, you can use uh, the method linear classic 
or uh, perceptual. I kind of like this method. I've used this a lot. I've actually used the classic um, uh, option, and I find that some of the images really come out really nice uh, in that um, in, in using that method. Method nine is going to use uh, the camera raw uh, um, filter. Now you can access camera raw within within um, your um, Photoshop. It's going to filter camera raw. And from the profile, you choose monochrome. And from the monochrome, you can adjust using these uh, sliders. This is another method I've used, but I usually shoot my images in in a raw file anyway, so it always will open up uh, in raw for me. And I always use um, camera raw most 99% of the time to adjust it to black and white. And that's it guys, those are the uh, uh, the nine methods in Photoshop. Next we're gonna move on to how to convert uh, your images on a Mac without Photoshop. is uh, convert the image um, without Photoshop on the Mac now. So here is the image that I've got. I'm going to right click on the image and click on preview. Now before we make any changes or attach this original I would suggest making a duplicate copy because in preview as soon as you start adjusting it it'll save the on top of the original. So first thing to do is I've got a file and I've got a duplicate. Then I would move this out of the way, close the original file. Now I can start adjusting this file because then it won't affect the original file. Now to convert this to black and white is easy. You click on this little um, icon here and then you click on the, uh, on the color adjustment um, icon. And what you do is like in Photoshop, you move the saturation down to minus 100 to the left and you can use uh, other tools to adjust it as you see fit. So um, it's fine tune with its brightness. Also you can add a, um, a sepia color if you wish, a monotone color. That's it guys. Um, and when you finish, you simply cl uh, uh, click on the X. Um, I'm just gonna call this underscore BW. I'm going to save the same location. I'm going to put the quality up all the way to best. Click on save. And there we go. Now I have two copies. I didn't overwrite the, um, the original copy. Next method I'm going to show you is on a PC. So let's go to that one. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, convert uh, your images um, to black and white on a PC without Photoshop. So here's the image here. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to go to open with, click on photos. Then when you come into the photos app, you see the uh, edit image um, icon at the top here. You click on that and then you'll see this filters uh, icon. You click on that and this gives you the black and white filters. I believe it's about one, two, three, four of them. Um, and then you can use this slider to create um, how, how much how much intensity you want to add uh, to your image. This is a very basic uh, editor. It's not as uh, complex as Photoshop, so it's you're not going to get much in fine tuning. Then once you're done, you can then click on save a copy, and then yeah, you you you've now created a black and white image on your PC without Photoshop. I hope uh, you got something out of this video, guys. I hope it helped you out. Please don't forget to give it a, a, a thumbs up, a like. Uh, I'm always happy to hear back your you know, your feedback, any comments in the, in the below as well. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon uh, for, to be notified of more videos coming up. So yeah, thanks for watching.